we are going to practice alliteration. Listen carefully as I say a sentence. Five fat frogs float for fun. What sound do you hear at the beginning of each word? We hear the f sound. Now I'm going to say two words that begin with the same sound. Fit, fast. They both begin with the f sound. Listen. Fit, fast. Alliteration is where two or more words in a row begin with the same sound. I'm going to say some sentences and I want you to tell me what sound do you hear at the beginning of each word in the sentence. Then you will tell me one more word that also has the same sound. Here we go. Pam plays piano. They both, that sentence starts with the p sound. All three words have the p sound. Let's think of another word that starts with the p. Pumpkin! Pumpkin starts with the p sound. Bob bakes bread. Each word in that sentence starts with the b sound. Let's think of another word that starts with b. Book. Book starts with b. Ruth runs races. Each word starts with the r sound. What's another word that starts with the r sound? Ruler. Ruler starts with the r sound. Dave digs ditches. Each word starts with the d sound. Think of another word that starts with the d sound. Dog starts with the d sound. So alliteration is where two or more words start with the same sound and those words are in a row. We're now going to talk about that double final consonant. So remember when a word ends with two consonants that are the same, we only say one sound for both letters. We can use the fizzle rule to help us remember what letters are usually double at the end of a word. Let's take a look at our first word. Let's sound it out. A s pass. The s's are double. It follows the fizzle rule. I l hill. The l's are double. They follow the fizzle rule. M it mit. The t's are double. We don't include the t's in the double fizzle rule because there are words that don't have a double t at the end. But we do want to remember that when we see two t's, we only say the sound once. Let's go ahead and you're going to try these words on your own. I will put a dot by the word and I'll give you about three seconds to tell me what the word is. So there's the word. Sound it out. The word is miss. Let's try this one. The word is kiss. The word is will. The word is fill. The word is mat. 
the word is jazz. Let's look for words that also follow the fizzle rule. So remember F, S, Z, or L, they'll be double at the end of a one syllable short vowel word. Miss, that follows the fizzle rule. It has the double S. Kiss, it's following the fizzle rule with a double S. Will, following the fizzle rule with a double L. Fill, fizzle rule, double L. Matt, again, there are some words that will have that double T at the end, but it's not a rule. But you need to remember you only say the sound once for the T's. Jazz, that also falls into our fizzle rule. Z is one of those letters. Alrighty, we're going to go ahead and practice these sight words. I'm going to give you three seconds to say the sight word, and you need to beat me. Okay? Here you go. Down. Out. Up. Fairy. Down. Very. Keep on practicing those sight words at home.